Welcome everyone, this is Mrs. Wiederhold, and in this lesson we are going to learn how to write a linear equation in point-slope form from a graph. So let's get started. First, let's review the different forms of a linear equation. The first form is ax plus by equals c, and this is referred to as the standard form. The second form is y equals mx plus b, and this is referred to as the slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b is probably what you're most familiar with. It is the form that we want our equation in so that we can graph a, a line. The third form of a linear equation is the point-slope form, and it looks like this, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And again, this is referred to as the point-slope form, where m is the slope and the x1, y1 together make the ordered pair for a point on the graph. So how do we do this? Well, first, let's identify the slope. And I would do this by finding my y-intercept. And I see that it's right here where y is positive 4. And now you move up the line until you see a point where it intersects or crosses the middle of four squares. And that's going to be our first point, which will help us determine the slope. So go back to your y-intercept, and let's count up, two, three, and to the right, two. So we have just identified our slope. It is going to be positive 3 over 2. Now, we could have done this in reverse. We could have gone down the line, and we could see here it intersects the middle of four squares, and so we could have counted down 2, 3, and to the left, 1, 2. Now, that would have been a negative 3 for our rise over a negative 2 for our run. And we know that in division, a negative divided by a negative is a positive. So either way you do it, you can determine the slope correctly. Now, let's pick a point on this line. Now, you could choose any point, like I could choose that point, that one, that one. I could choose one way down here. But I want to make it easy for myself. So I'm actually going to go up to this point because I know that it's going to be a whole number. Um, each of my y and my x will be whole numbers. So how do we determine what this point is? Well, if I trace it down to the x-axis, I know that my x-coordinate is going to be positive 2. And if I go back to the point and trace it to the y-axis, I can see that my y and our, excuse me, my y-coordinate is going to be positive 7. Now we can use that in this example, or let's pick this point right here that I showed you, this point right here that I showed you earlier. Let's find the coordinates of that point. If I trace the x part, the x-coordinate down to the x-axis, that's going to be negative 2. And if I take that point and then trace it, to the y-axis, it's a positive 1. So now we have two points to choose from. In this example, I will choose the 2, comma, 7. So now we're ready to write our point-slope equation. But you might be asking, why is there a y and a y1? And why is there an x and an x1? Well. The y1 is the y-coordinate of the point that we're going to use. And the x1 is the x-coordinate of the point that we're going to use in the equation. So all we're going to do is we're going to use this formula right here, and we're going to start substituting the, y, the y1 value for y1, the x1 value for x1, and the slope for the m. So let's do that. I have y minus, and what is our y1 value? It is 7. So we have y minus 7 
equals, and our slope is positive 3 over 2, so we're just going to put 3 over 2, times x, and then minus the x1, meaning the x-coordinate of our point. So we have just written our equation of this line in point-slope form. But you know what? A lot of times there are questions about how do I write this if my x1 or y1 is a negative number. So why don't we go ahead and take my second point, and so we have an x1 and a y1 value. So I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with y minus y1. So y minus 1 equals my slope, which is 3 over 2, times x minus negative 2. Now we could write x minus negative 2, but what is minusing a negative number? Minusing a negative number is actually adding that number. Okay, so do you see the difference here? This is a plus sign because we would have subtracted, like it says in our formula, subtracted a negative number. And subtracting a negative is the same as adding. So anyway, um, let's summarize what we've done in this video. First, Let's identify the y-intercept. Second, find a point, which is an ordered pair, on the line that goes through the middle of four squares. Number three, determine the slope by using the y-intercept and the point. Number four, write the equation by substituting the slope and ordered pair into the point-slope formula. I hope this video has been helpful and I look forward to working with you again.